Bulls Nation, we are a mere few weeks away until the beginning of preseason and the start of the regular season within a month's time. And it's time to start talking about the Chicago Bulls again. We've already talked a lot about the offense and the defense. And although there's not too much to talk about these days, there's no real big news of talking about the Chicago Bulls. We're going to be answering some questions that have been coming up for the Chicago Bulls. A lot of these questions I've wrote up myself to give the answer to. And this could hopefully bring on another series where I get to maybe answer some of your questions for the Chicago Bulls. We're going to be answering four questions for the Chicago Bulls today. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it in this video. Let's do it. What's going on everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video referring to some questions being answered about the upcoming season, what I think and who I think will be some of the game changers as well as some people I'm relatively worried about in this upcoming season. We're going to be answering four questions today to try and get some, I guess, engagement, positivity and maybe we can start that series I've been wanting to do for years now or at least the last two years or maybe answer some of your questions but in the end, if this is just a one-off video, then we're making it a one-off video, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls upcoming season. And if you do have any answers that or any questions that you want me to answer, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And also let me know some of the answers to the questions that I have here that I'm going to be discussing today. So, the first question I have on my list is who is going to be the game changer for the Chicago Bulls? At the end of the day, who, who's going to make the biggest difference from last season to this season? Who's going to be the guy that flips everything on the dime? And you could put a lot of people in this category. Obviously, you can put DeMar DeRozan, a new acquisition. You could put a lot of the bench players, the defensive-minded players, acquisitions like Alex Caruso and all of these people. But the answer that I have to this question is Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball, in my opinion, is going to be the biggest game changer because as I mentioned before, he is fitting a lot of the things that the Chicago Bulls were struggling with. He adds, he comes into this team and a lot of those things become weakened issues for the Chicago Bulls. Turnovers was a big issue for the Chicago Bulls, and I think Lonzo Ball changes that in many ways. Again, I don't think we're going to have too many turnovers with the acquisitions of our new players. Lonzo Ball is a perimeter defender that we strongly needed in that point guard position. We didn't have a guard that was a good perimeter defender. Now we have two of them, and Lonzo Ball is going to be one of them. Lonzo Ball is going to be a guy that can adapt to the bench and the starters. Lonzo Ball could be a lot to this team, and I think Lonzo Ball is going to be the game changer for what this team is. DeMar DeRozan is a special player, don't get me wrong, and I think DeMar DeRozan is a game changer as well but the one that truly stands out to me as the biggest game changer for me is going to be Lonzo Ball I think he's going to make this team leaps and bounds stronger than what we saw last year and of course the Rosen will come in and do his thing but Lonzo for me is the biggest game changer on this team and he's the one that I feel will be the biggest difference to why we are either a good team or a bad team Lonzo Ball is going to be the difference there who's going to be the best scorer now we have Funnily enough, a fun fact, we have three players on this team that have averaged 20-plus points per game last season. Nikola Vucevic, DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine. Kobe White was close, but of course, he did not average 20 points per game. And we are one of three teams to have players like that. The Lakers with Westbrook, LeBron, and AD. Obviously, the Nets with Harden, Irving, Kevin Durant. Pretty simple, basic stuff there. We are, one of the, we are one of the three teams in that category, which is always good to know. And it goes to show that our offense should be very strong next year. But of course, I feel like the best scorer is still going to be Zach Levine because Zach Levine can score from anywhere on the court. Zach Levine can be a big scorer from the three-point line. Zach Levine can hit the mid-range like it's nobody business. Zach Levine can cut to the rim. The only reason Zach Levine won't be the best scorer is that he doesn't get to the line as much as maybe a DeRozan would be. So I would still pick Zach Levine in this category. I think Zach Levine's going to be our best player. I think Zach Levine's going to be the guy to go to when we need a scoring option. But again, I don't see him averaging 28 points per game, but I still see him being our leading scorer for the Chicago Bulls. And that's exactly what he should be because he is a prolific scorer at his best and he could do it very efficiently. And that's why I see him being the best scorer on the Chicago Bulls still this upcoming season. The next question is, who's going to be the sixth man for the Chicago Bulls? And by that, I basically am asking who's going to be the best bench player. Now, 
you can put a lot of people in this category again as well. There are a lot of bench players that do have that point to prove. There are a lot of bench players that do need to, I guess, step up in many ways and prove themselves to the Chicago Bulls faithful and to the rest of the league, as it seems. So, in my opinion, the best bench player, I guess... The one that I classify as our sixth man is going to be Kobe White. But the issue is Kobe White won't be playing at the beginning of the season. So I kind of have two answers to this. I think our best bench player overall will be Alex Caruso. But when Kobe White comes back, I think he's going to be the guy that has the better stats. So I feel like Kobe White is my answer to this. But the reality is Kobe White could still be on the trade block. Kobe White could still be in a situation where he's not necessarily used for the Chicago Bulls. That's always a situation that we need to keep in mind. So this is a question that I don't necessarily have the correct answer for. I don't have a right answer for. But my opinion is when Kobe White comes back, I think he's going to be our sixth man for the Chicago Bulls. He's going to be the scoring option off of the bench. He's going to be the guy that's going to be able to do a, have a lot of responsibility on the bench. And you have players like Alex Caruso around him to kind of pre take the pressure off of him in many ways. And you have all the defensive presences on the team that allows Kobe White to come in and do his thing on the court, which is something that I think is very strongly valued for the Chicago Bulls. And that's why I don't see Kobe White getting traded. But the reality is anything can happen on this team. So I think Kobe White is going to be the sixth man for the Chicago Bulls when he does return. But when, of course, he is injured, right now, I think Alex Caruso is probably the best option off of the bench when it comes to scoring and defense at the moment. And that's where I see that sixth man position going until Kobe White returns. And the last player, the last question that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen, which player are you most scared for? Now, this could be for a variety of reasons, but the one I'm referring to here is when it comes to minutes. Who's not going to get the most minutes, and who is the player I'm most fearful of when it comes to getting minutes on the team? And the answer I have for you here, ladies and gentlemen, is Troy Brown Jr. I don't think Troy Brown Jr. is going to get a whole lot of minutes on this team. And it scares me because he had a really good, strong start to his NBA season for the Chicago Bulls. Washington Wizards season aside, he didn't have a great season over there. For the Bulls, I felt like he had a strong presence on this team and he instantly became a fan favorite because we didn't have many players like him. I feel like on this team at the moment, we're going to be in a situation where Troy Brown Jr. is going to be once again in a similar situation to the Washington Wizards, where he might not get a strong amount of minutes. And this is a good problem to have because that means we have players around him that are performing at a good level. But I am very fearful for Troy Brown Jr. because he has a lot of upside, a lot of potential, and he's a very young player that unfortunately I fear might not get the best out of his career with the Chicago Bulls at the moment. Obviously, time will tell. He's going to have to prove himself in preseason, training camp, and the regular season. And I feel like many people still have that faith in him, and I have that faith he can be a good player. I'm just very scared that he won't get the opportunity that he might rightfully deserve on this team compared to other players on this team already. So hopefully the Chicago Bulls see the value in playing Troy Brown and I sincerely hope he gets significant minutes on the Chicago Bulls but that is the player at the moment that I am most fearful of not getting a lot of game time and the player that I'm most scared of not getting game time. And those are all the four questions I have ladies and gentlemen for you guys. Again, this opens up many videos where I could potentially be answering more questions, hopefully your guys questions but the reality is if this is a one-off video if not many people want to see this type of video then i completely understand and we will move on i have tried this every once in a while i tried it last year and it didn't work out very well i tried it again probably six months after that didn't try it very well didn't work out very well so i'm trying it again ladies and gentlemen and the whole point is to keep trying until one day you succeed and hopefully this video does well thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe if you're new let me know in the comments below the answers you have to these questions as well as your own questions if you have any and i'll would like to add them into another future video probably not the next one but definitely future videos to come have a wonderful and safe day bulls nation i'll see you in another chicago bulls video stay safe stay healthy stay tuned for more take care